assalamu alaikum so now we go over to the learning checks of your chapter concerning economy and here basic we'll be basically uh, discussing that what are the economic choices we have and how to use these economic choices aap logo economic choices to yaad hai na ki economic choices kya hoti hain ki hum apne paise kis tarike se kharch karna chahte hain iska ye economic choices hoti hain abhi let's say let's see hum kya inke कुछ के क्वेश्चंस के आंसर बड़े सिंपल से हैं छोटे छोटे से हैं कुछ के थोड़े से दो तीन लाइनों के हैं मगर आई थिंक मैंने कोशिश की है कि आपको इनको बड़े सिंपलीफाई करके सो सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दीज वेरी इजीली लेट्स सी के व्हाट व्हाट कैन वी डू अबाउट दीज क्वेश्चन गोइंग अबाउट टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई इकनॉमिक चॉइस वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई इकनॉमिक चॉइस इकनॉमिक चॉइस द चॉइस ऑफ हाउ टू स्पेंड योर मनी इज कॉल्ड इकनॉमिक चॉइस वेरी सिंपल the choice of how to spend your money is called an economic choice the choice of how to spend your money is called economic choice what is economic choice the choice of how to spend your money is called economic choice very simple hai na simple yani what is economic choice the choice of how to spend your money is called economic choice yani aapke paas paise hain aap apne paison ko kis tarike se kharna chahte hain aapke paas choice hoti hai na ki aap kaise paise kharch karna chahte hain to isko bolte hain economic choice right going over to the next question okay before i start the uh, second question i have to give you a piece of advice that whenever you are attempting a question paper you must not just see the question and start uh, uh, writing you must read the question 1 2 and 3 times 1 two and three times at least three times only then you will understand the complete answer otherwise just you just see the question and start attempting that will lead to mistakes most of the time so we will uh, read this question three times what is the difference between needs and wants in our daily lives give some examples from your own experience you see there is there are two parts in this question the first is that what is the difference between needs and wants in our daily lives we have to differentiate between what needs and wants so we must remember that we have to differentiate first of all we have to tell the difference between needs and wants first we will tell that what are the needs and then we will tell what are the wants and then we will give some example from our own experience you, these are the two parts of the question you have to attempt both you have to write about both these things if you write one of the things your half marks will be deducted so uh, so again we read what is the difference between needs and wants in our daily lives give some examples from your own experience now we start writing okay needs are the things we require to survive or a must to live wants are the things we like to have but are not a must to live must to survive for example i like to spend less on the things like pizza and more on buying books same way my family prefers to have food at home most of the time so we can spend more on our basic needs like heating cooling and healthcare you see humne bada easily dono cheezon ka jawab de diya ke ji aap aur aapki family jo hai kaise karte hain theek hai ji apni aapki zaati experience jo hai aapne bata diya ki first aapne bata diya needs are the things that we require to survive or live and wants are the things that we want to have but not a must to survive अच्छा अब इसी तरह जैसे पिज़्ज़ा वगैरह ज़रूरी नहीं है कि आप पिज़्ज़ा खाने के बगैर मर नहीं जाते ठीक है बीमार नहीं हो जाते ठीक है सो so, आप पिज़्ज़े की जगह अगर घर पे खाना खाएं और अपने घर में जो अच्छा खाना पका हुआ होता है वो साफ़ सुथरा वो खाएं और अपनी बुक्स वगैरह या किसी चीज़ पर अच्छी चीज़ पर खर्च करें पैसे राइट और इसी तरह अगर आपकी फैमिली बाहर होटलों पर खाने की जगह घर पर खाना खाएँ और पैसे बचाएँ किस काम के लिए कि जैसे हीटिंग के बिल्स देने के लिए कूलिंग के बिल्स देने के लिए और खुदा न खास्ता को बीमार हो जाए तो उसके लिए हेल्थ केयर के तो सो दिस इज़ अ बेटर चॉइस ऑफ बेटर इकोनॉमिक चॉइस सो दिस इज़ आई थिंक द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट आंसर बट यू मे हैव डिफरेंट वर्ड्स और डिफरेंट कॉनोटेशन सो दिस इज द आंसर दट आई विल सजेस्ट ओके आई होप आप लोगों को समझ आ रहा है आई यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू 
uh, I wish I can teach you in the best possible way. So, if you don't understand anything, then you can always tell me that no, uncle, this is again tell me, and I will definitely tell you. Uh, please feel free to suggest anything, any betterment for our teaching methods. Okay. So now we go to the next question. That is, why governments make economic choices? The governments have limited sources of income. They have to choose the best and um, most urgently required things for its citizens. They have to choose the best and most urgently required things for its citizens. In this way, money of the citizen is spent in best possible way. In this way, the money of the citizens is spent on the best possible way. It also wants to spend the money for present and future benefits. My question was very simple that why governments make economic choices. So economic choices we already know what are the economic choices and the, we know that governments they also require to make economic choices. So why they do economic choices because they want to spend in the best possible way for their citizens and they want to spend in such a way that it um, the needs of uh, people at present time and for future are also uh, fulfilled and they can get the benefits in the future in the coming days also okay so the answer i have written is the governments have limited sources of income they have to choose the best and most urgently required things for its citizen in this way money of the citizens is spent spent in best possible way it also wants to spend the money for present and future benefits okay Okay, now we go to your another important question that look at the list below of things to consider when choosing an item from a range in a shop. Rank them in order of importance and then compare your th ranking with, the, uh, with those of your friends. You see, there are four things. One is a school bag, a toy car, a book and an ice cream. For an ideal student, for an ideal person, the choice should be, the best choice for a student should be the book. Then he can, he, uh, like, he would like to have a school bag to keep his books safe. Then he might, li might like to have an ice cream, right? Uh, and then the toy car. And but your friends, they may have different choices. For example, they must want to have a toy car or some of you may like to have an ice cream or may not like to have a book. And their priority may be the, the last priority may be the book. And some people, they spend too much money on the school bag and the money, is, um, money left for the books is very less. So this is not a good economic choice. So I'll suggest you an economic choice, you, but you may have your own choice. Okay, so I think the choices could be A, a book, B, a school bag, and three, an ice cream, and fourth is a toy car, right? So why I have discussed this, why I have, uh, book is a must thing for a student, and school ba bag is a must thing to keep the book safe. Then ice cream, you may like to eat something good, and a toy car. Yes, you, if you have uh, surplus money, you have, may have a toy car. But toy, toy cars are for small kids. Now you have now, mashallah, grown to the um, fourth grade. And you must be, um, you must rise up. And you should not be interested in the toy cars. Now you should be interested in the uh, knowledge. You should, interest, you should be interested in the knowledge and to know the things. Because once you will grow up, you will require to have so much of knowledge, right? Okay, now the final question is, in the example of the doctor's waiting room on page 21, do you think that better conditions are more important for the doctor or the patient? Doctor or the patient? Would you prefer to see a doctor with a basic clinic and equipment or a less good doctor with a lot of modern equipment and a fancy clinic? Explain your decision. Now, first thing is, the um, look better conditions are good for everybody 
but you have to make a choice that what better conditions if they are flashy and glittering things that you are you get impressed with that you are, then you are making not a good economic choice you your first priority should be your treatment so i think the uh, for question um, 1a should be answered like this you may have you may have a different opinion but i think this is a way better conditions are required for both patient and should be uh, should get the money's worth we should pay for the treatment and not for the beauty of the clinic so a beautiful clinic with a bad treatment is not better than a simple clinic with better treatment so i'll read you uh, this uh, reply again better conditions are required for both but पेशेंट शुड गेट दी मनी इज वर्थ आपने ये वर्ड जो पहले पढ़ा है कि मनी जो पैसा खर्च करते हैं उसकी उसकी आपको उसकी वसूली भी होनी चाहिए ना जितने पैसे आपने खर्च किए उसके बराबर आपको चीज़ मिलनी चाहिए ये तो फजूल खर्ची है या वेस्टेज ऑफ मनी है जस्ट टू हैव अ फ्लैशी और अ ब्यूटीफुल क्लिनिक एंड नॉट हैव अ गुड डॉक्टर राइट वी शुड पे फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट एंड नॉट फॉर द ब्यूटी ऑफ द क्लिनिक यानी हमें पैसे किसके अदा करने चाहिए अपने इलाज के लिए ना कि क्लिनिक की खूबसूरती के लिए अ ब्यूटीफुल क्लिनिक विद अ बैड ट्रीटमेंट इज नॉट बेटर दैन अ सिंपल क्लिनिक विद बैटर ट्रीटमेंट सो यानी एक खूबसूरत सा क्लिनिक और ट्रीटमेंट अच्छी ना हो और इफ द क्लिनिक इज वेरी सिंपल एंड ट्रीटमेंट इज गुड सो यू हैव यू कैन डिसाइड राइट the uh, you you will be able to decide it better in the next part in the part p would you prefer to see a good doctor with a basic clinic or equipment or a, a less good doctor with a lot of modern equipment and a fancy clinic explain your decision okay we go to a clinic for the treatment of our disease the treatment should be our priority and not the fancy clinic i would thus want to go to a simple clinic with a good doctor understand so this satisfies this question b part of your question that why should you go to a doctor which has got who's got a simple clinic but is better because we should go to a clinic for the treatment of our disease the treatment should be our priority and not the fancy clinic so what should be our priority while making this economics choice that treatment should we should get the good treatment not the fancy clinic i would thus want to go to simple clinic with a good doctor done so the, this exercise is done I hope आप लोगों को समझ आ गई है अगर नहीं समझ आई तो you can always write me कि ये चीज़ समझ नहीं आई and I hope आप you people have subscribed us already and if not then you may subscribe अप um, subscribe us if you like and give us a thumbs up give us a like and you can also tell your friends that we are here to help them if they come and join us we'll इनशाला help them आप लोगों को बताएंगे तो उनका फायदा होगा और आपको भी स्वाब होगा और हमें भी स्वाब होगा अल्लाह हाफिज़